What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Jordan Minor X. LG was nice enough to send me a V20 for preview. We're gonna take a look at it. Let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so this won't actually be the first time that I've ever taken this device out of the box. I've been using it now for the, about a week as my daily driver. So as soon as you fold it out, it's kind of accordion style and you have your phone to the left. You've got your wall charger and USB type C cable. And then you have your battery, which is here. I already have it installed. So we'll go ahead and take all this box and set it to the side and look at the phone itself. Taking a tour of the device, we'll start out with the back of the phone. You have this dual camera setup. You've got the 16 megapixel with an F 1.8 aperture. And then the secondary is an eight megapixel F 2.4 aperture. Of course, you're gonna be able to get some super sharp images with the laser and phase detection autofocus and the built-in optical image stabilization. LG is known for the rear facing power button, which is something that I've loved with previous devices. And I actually really wish that they had the volume rocker instead of being on the left side. I wish that it was uh, alongside the power button. The power button also doubles as a super accurate fingerprint scanner. On the bottom of the device, you'll find a single speaker, which actually gets decently loud. You'll find this USB type C charge port and a headphone jack, which includes a premium quad DAC. When we talk about the design of the phone, this is a totally different look and feel from the V10 of last year. The V10 featured those steel rails and that rubber back, which I actually loved. It reminded me of a race car. This version is more elegant and sleek. It's actually one of the thinner phones that I've had the opportunity to use. It's thinner than the Note 7 by 0.2 millimeters. It really feels thin. And the reason it feels so thin is because of these curved edges and then also the tape edges up top. So you've got a curve up top and then a curve to the back and it just feels really slim in the hand. One of my personal favorite parts of LG's design is the decision to stick with a user removable battery and I love the way they've implemented it here. You have this awesome metal back and it actually has a mechanism which allows it to snap on and off. That battery is a 3200 milliamp hour battery which should get you through an entire day. If for some reason you're able to power through that huge battery, it does have Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 built in. I just can't overemphasize the satisfaction that little click and then the clicking whenever you put it back on. I just really love the way that they have implemented that removable back and user replaceable battery. Also alongside that user replaceable battery, you also have a micro SD card slot for expansion up to two terabytes, which is pretty amazing. So far, I'm in love with the design of this phone. I think this is really a comeback from all of the negativity surrounding the design of the LG G5 and some of the build quality issues they had, there are absolutely no build quality issues here. Everything is pristine and polished with the V20. Moving along to the displays, you'll notice up top here, we have an always on display in that secondary display. So I love the fact that I'm able to access my date, time and battery percentage at any time just by glancing at the phone. And then we have this beautiful IPS LCD display. It's 5.7 inches. QHD display with 531 pixels per inch. You're not gonna see a pixel on this display. It's super sharp. And as you guys can see here, it gets pretty bright, relatively bright, not as bright as a SAMOLED display. Of course, colors are plenty vibrant. They're not as punchy as the colors on an AMOLED display. As far as an LCD display goes, this is one of the best on the market. Also on the second display, you'll see that you have access to toggles and your most recently used applications. So that's also a nice feature. I'm not really gonna dive into software or even performance on this device. Know that this phone has a Snapdragon 820 and four gigabytes of RAM. As far as my week of usage, it has been incredibly fast. I've not seen any lag or stutters, but like I said, we're not gonna get into the software or the performance of this phone because this is not a final build. You'll definitely want to subscribe and stick around for my full review once the final versions of the phone are available. I'll be sure to do a full review. What we can talk about though is this headphone jack, which includes a premium quad DAC. Now, what does that mean? It means that it's amplifying the sound to your headphones. It works really well with high fidelity headphones for those audio files out there. I'll tell you that I even noticed a difference with regular headphones. So I've tried this out with the premium headphones that were included with the preview unit and also just some super cheap headphones. And when you turn on and off, the DAC, so there's actually a setting here to turn the DAC on and off. You can keep it on if you just want that premium sound and turn it off if you wanna save a little bit of battery, but the difference in sound is night and day. If the quality of sound is important to you, then you are gonna love that premium quad DAC. 
So as far as the camera is concerned, LG is making a play for the best camera in the smartphone market. It has that dual lens setup, which is awesome because you can get both a wide angle lens and then you can actually zoom in for a close up. Images that I've taken with this camera so far have been sharp, colors have been vibrant. So far the camera on this phone is looking pretty awesome. All right guys, that about wraps it up for my preview of the LG V20. I'm loving this device so far. It is definitely already on my top five list and I don't even have the final unit. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.